Welcome back to um, BadmintonIreland.tv and uh, here at the Carlton Irish Future Series, this um, men's doubles semi-final with um, myself, Ben Caldwell, and uh, Richard Vaughan. And uh, an exciting match uh, we have here between uh, Jonathan Dolan and Sam McGee and Giles um, Trippett and um, Florian Schmidt. A new uh, partnership here from the, uh, the Irish um, pair. So good to see the young player, um, Jonathan Dolan, um, being brought on by the experienced uh, Sam McGee. Yeah, I think it'll be really interesting to see how the, uh, the green shirts blend into the green uh, background of the, uh, the half court. Here's off from the Swiss. Nice selection of uh, shirt yeah, colour. A good choice from them there. And, um, and I must rec uh, I like the pink shirts from the coaches at the back of the court on the Irish team as well. Supporting uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Week. It's uh, great to see them wearing those pink shirts and uh, looking very fetching. Sam McGee serving here and uh, really uh, looking to control this game from the front of the court and um, help to um, give his young partner confidence. Yeah, I think the Irish people just have too much. Kind of power between the two of them. Obviously, Johnny will power from the back, and Sam quite dominant from the front and kind of force on the lift. So I think that'll be the, the key. Like the last couple of points, um, so Sam putting the pressure on to get to get the lift, and um, Johnny yeah. just has to not make the mistakes and put power from the back. Yeah, I've really seen that so far in this tournament. Um, uh, Favorite formation with um, Sam moving to the front of the court. Court break fast and um, trying to play um, quality shots to the net. Just making the error there. And especially uh, with um, the Carlton shuttles. Um, they're quite a heavy shuttle so it's important to have a lot of power behind them so it kind of suits the, the combination of Johnny and Sam and a lot of the other, other pairs don't seem to have much power and the Swiss especially quite a weak pair in terms of physically so yeah. slightly heavy, cut, heavy Carlton shuttle will uh, kind of benefit the Irish players. Yeah. yeah, Swiss pair, not uh, not looking too powerful, but um, let's see, a little bit of a debate here over the um, service, um, certainly nothing wrong with those um, Carlton shuttles, uh, I think more, more to do with the um, serving technique. It's good to see the Swiss pair wearing a nice Irish shirt there as well. That's quite a nice, that'd make a nice little Irish kit, that one, I think. Yeah, but um, obviously not uh, sponsored by Carlton, those. No, it's so, um, some, some weird brand. Mm. It does look uh, very nice here with the, the green surrounding. And, yeah, I think uh, it works quite nice with the, uh, the blue kind of contrast. And a good, um, good atmosphere in the hall here today. Um, Lots of spectators and um, very good uh, event here for um, all our sponsors and um, the um, Hilton Hotel. Um, which we've had uh, around a hundred players staying in um, for the um, for the four days here. So uh, a great tournament for the for the young Irish players, really, just um, getting the chance to play against all these players from around Europe. Um, not something they would, they would get on a, on a weekly basis, so I think uh, they've made, they made the most of it with Josh in the quarter-final and uh, Rachel in the quarter-final. It's been a valuable experience. Yeah, and really good to see um, in the early days of the tournament on Thursday and Friday, see some schools come and um, Yeah, a couple of hundred uh, children in schools, it's great. So uh, really good for the future of the sport here in Ireland. Surprise actually, it's just point to a point. You can just see a few kind of easy mistakes on both sides um, at the moment. It seems to be everything around the first three shots. So it's important the Irish pair just tighten up a little. You serve out there by Sam. Um, yeah, so quite a lot of mistakes, yeah. yeah. A few hours on the, um, the serve from Sam. Um, didn't see this so much in the um, earlier rounds. Um, so hopefully um, Sam can uh, settle down here and he's. Um, not uh, too affected, and now the error on return serve. If we're lucky, we might um maybe there might be a rally in a minute if we're if we're lucky. Yeah, a little bit of a, a poor start to this um 
first set here and uh, really um, another another issue here with uh, complaining about the serve and shuttle going in the net so we see the coaches coming on in their um, pink t-shirts their um, doesn't Daniel look very fetching in the pink very smart in the pink and uh, very good to see him um, supporting the um, breast cancer research charity and uh, yep very nice discussion there about um, what they're covering on the, the third shot but yeah, really, I think, I think um, it'll just be reinforcing to focus on the first three points and trying to actually have a rally um, yeah, really just cutting out those errors yeah and serving in the net really. again I think, I think the key for the Irish guys if they if they manage to keep it together and win the first set then just increase the confidence and they should really kind of walk away with the match then. Yeah, as you say, much more powerful yeah. as a pair. And uh, really need to just get these lifts and then um, try and um, put the shuttle away. A no, rally. This is a rally. Yeah. I think this is a rally. A good rally um, there. And... Yeah. Uh, Again, good play by the Irish pair, good power. Just uh, unfortunate with the mistake, but um, yeah. at least that was more positive. Yeah, their um, attacking play um, didn't really uh, capitalise on their opportunity in the attack yeah. there. Oh, oh, good, good play by Schmidt. Key for the Irish players just to again keep that attack in prowess. Um, it's important for one of them to get into the net so we get the lift rather than staying off and having a kind of soft rallies. They need to uh, be a bit more decisive and, and, and that really like Sam coming forward kind of made the difference and it's important yeah. they just keep that pressure on. Yeah, he's been doing that um, quite effectively in the um, earlier rounds, but really the uh, opponents not um, too much of a, a challenge mm. um, for the Irish pet ball. And uh, again, I feel here um, Sam should be able to stamp his authority on this game, control the forecourt, and um, as you say, just move forward and set up his partner um, in the rear court. Yeah, exactly. And you can see he's a, a level above the other players when he does that. So it's, it's, um, it's important that Sam just kind of concentrates and, and tries, tries to kind of dominate when he can. Yeah, Sam, the um, most experienced player on the court, obviously playing uh, a lot of mixed doubles with. His, um, his partner, his sister, Chloe McGee. So um, he's playing uh, a lot higher level um, tier tournaments um, and should really be able to um, dominate um, dominate the court at this level. You see, that's the real difference so far. It's just it's the key points that Sam really brings by closing the space down. So um, hopefully he can just keep that up for the next couple of points and close out the set. Get rid of those errors and just um, look to uh, push on here. And good experience with the Swiss guys. Um, they look quite uh, quite young, so they'll be just looking to get experience and points. But um, yeah, and a good um, good result um, for them uh, getting through into the semis here, and uh, they'll be happy with um, with those. Um, those points, ranking points, and also with the experience. It's the key thing as well, whoever wins this, they will fancy the chances in the final against either the, the Finnish or the Slovenian pair. Um, so, yeah, they're kind of not just playing to win the semi final, but a real big chance to win win the tournament. This semi final is probably a little bit stronger than the other semi final, so kind of double, double up for grabs in this one. Yeah, definitely. Um, you'd say um, they would definitely fancy their chances, um, but uh, we'll see. They've got to make it um, make it there first. Um, whoever comes out on top in this uh, this game. Here we you see, see um, uh, just Sam just coming forward again, just causing a bit more pressure.
got a good organised attack there from the Swiss, and um, unfortunately the uh, Irish pair not able to, um, to to counter attack in that situation. Yeah, it's a weak block from uh, yeah. Sam on the push wrist range. Looks like he can decide quite what shot to hit. And, uh, again, making the error there, and um, looks like he's forcing <laughs> a little bit too much at the moment. Yeah, he's probably he's probably thinking about the next match, and uh, instead of just focus on. This game. It's always difficult when you're playing with a young player because you don't have them to, to pull you through and then they get relaxed and they make mistakes. So it's very important this is the experienced player that he kind of stays on his game, like that point and yeah. fills up the set. Yeah. All the pressure on uh, Sam McGee there and uh, good in that uh, rally. Really <coughs> dominated the forecourt and um, took control of the rally and um, did all the work in that one. Yeah, good smash. Switching up the um, attack there. See Sam there, good smash. I think uh, Jonathan could probably use a lot more power at the back of the court with his height than presence. Mm. A lot of the time he uses his half smash and slices, which is good, but he should be able to get a lot more power at the back of yeah. somebody of his uh, size. Really like that's a slice again, you know, it's just, there's no power. Looks to lose him. You know, it doesn't seem the strongest player in his legs, Jonathan. Hmm. Something uh, perhaps he needs to um, to build on. A bit of strapping there on the knee, but um, apparently that's not affecting his play. Um, just um, I think a little bit of a support there. This next one or two points really crucial to close out the game. Bad error there from Jonathan. Yeah, got an easy, really easy shot. Yeah, no excuses for that one. Really needed to just get that going down. And, uh, just hitting long. He's a little bit late on a lot of the flat shots and um, often leads to the error. Yeah, good place I'm getting to the front to get in the lift. And again, Jonathan not really using the power. That's better. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, as you say, that uh, when he really put the power on, he uh, can jump and use a really good angle there. So, uh, he needs to do that. Takes the pressure off Sam as well, because Sam works really hard to get to the front to get the lift. The last thing he really wants is to extend the rally and then get, you know, he's stuck with Sam at the back. So it's best they yeah. kind of make most of the strength when they can. Yeah, not such a good serve there. Um, a perfect tournament for both of them to, to get the practice in, playing lots of different pairs. They are a new combination, so kind of getting used to the, the best formation. Yeah, really important for them to, to learn to play together. Yeah, and that's the and, uh, just the first set, finding the space there um, with the cross court push. And, um, as the coaches come on with their um, pink t-shirts, as you say, they'll um, be um, hoping to reinforce um, some of the important points for the um, for the second set, really for Sam to try and dominate from the front of the court. So, um, back to the start of the second set here, um, the uh, Irish pair winning the first set, 21-18. Um, um, quite a close set in the end, but um, really um, 
We'd like to see the um, the Irish player um, Sam McGee being a little bit uh, stronger in this set. Um, very experienced player and uh, has the quality to do um, do good things in this game at the forecourt. And uh, let's uh, see how they start off this second set. Sam there using a couple of stick smashes where you, you kind of feel you uh, should have put on the power smash and tried to finish that rally off. And then uh, Jonathan also making the drop shot. Yeah, especially it's with, with the likes of Jonathan's height and power. And Sam has, has good power. To, to play doubles and not really use your strength is a, is a strange concept. So, uh, again, I think no doubt when, when Sam's at the front and they have good channel attack, then they're a much better combination, so uh, I guess it's just concentration. And, and yeah, I think as well. Um, Sam often looks like he's he's scared to use any energy, and uh, really in those situations, he should be able to jump and hit twenty uh, mm. jump smashes, and there should be no problem. But yeah, if that's the way they're gonna have to play against the top twenty, thirty in the world. So you really want to practice, like you're gonna have to play against the top. Players. So to, to play one way against bad players and then play a different way against other players doesn't really make sense. You're never quite going to be able to yeah. handle the pressure. So that's the, the strange factor. Yeah, need to be um, playing 100% uh, effort and uh, a lot sharper here. And uh... <clears throat> there's a huge difference because when they do do the right things and they you know they use the power on the channel attack, you know it's, it's quite. Easy to see that there's a huge uh, comparison between the two pits. But sometimes they just get dragged into drop shotting and serving and lifting and yeah. all types of weird. We've seen this uh, a little bit with some of the um, some of the Irish players here who um, play a lot of um, national competitions and um, they're playing at a quite a low yeah. pace and um, not with too much quality. They really need to practice playing sharp. Um, yeah, that's why the, the international competition is so important, so they, they get that little bit of speed and we saw it with Rachel in the singles and Josh, they, they both play very well but uh, the difference was this, the speed and the consistency of the speed, they, they, could, they could do it for two or three points and then they would drop off and lose the next three or four points. So, um, so very, um, very important that we have the um, under 19 international event, uh, the future series event and the um, Irish Open gives the uh, local players um, plenty of opportunity to experience um, yeah, exactly. high level play. <coughs> you see there, again, Jonathan's kind of reaching his height, really forcing the point, which is what they really need to be doing on for every point, not just now and again. Yeah. Needs to be 100% commitment to all the points. Oh, another foul serve. Be very high. Jonathan's chest, uh, his, his waistline must be pretty high. Yeah, so it must all, be a it's a tall lad. It's it? um, really quite uh, <coughs> it's been coming downward. But, uh, that's <laughs> it must be a tennis of. <laughs> Actually, I can't tell you a match in this tournament with as many players. There's only eight points. Yeah, there's um. Good shot again, good power by Jonathan, keeping it simple. <coughs> Just driving the shuttle through the net yeah. cord there. And uh, the opponent's really out of position. A little bit lucky there in that rally. Um, Got the defensive shot back, but um, the, um, the Swiss pair just making the error on the net, not uh, quite moving fast enough across the court to cover that one. So the score now 10 4. And, um, Again, much better shot there for Johnny. Again, <clears throat> using a bit of power. It is cross, it's a really good shot, but it's not soft. It's at least a little bit of power and speed in, in the block. So, yeah. So, um, score 11 4, and a uh, chance for the coaches come back on and uh, give a bit of advice here.
just uh, another error on on the net there from Sam. He needs to um, get a little bit sharper here when he's going into the start of these sets. Soft, soft drop there. And again, a little bit of a trick shot. Um, really no need for that. Um, should have just put that one away. Uh, easy kill. And um, got punished. Uh, and rightly so. Uh, bad shot selection there from Jonathan. Oops. Very lucky again. <laughs> trick shot for the Swiss player there. The Swiss, a uh, little bit of an air shot. So, yeah. Must be his racket. He needs to eat a few more bananas or something. <laughs> yeah, good. Again, a bit of power back in defence from Sam. Just too much for the Swiss. It seems to be the speed is a big difference. As soon as Sam wants John, Johnny for any speed in attack or defence, the Swiss player just can't handle the kind of the change. Yeah. When they play slow, it's these doubles. And the Swiss player like that quite a lot. So. Better from the Swiss there. A bit more power, but Jonathan really uh, should have been on that one, pushing it straight down the line. A little bit uh, late in his preparation. The biggest danger now for the Irish player is um, just concentration and, and relaxing too much. It's important that they just keep that focus and speed on all the, all the points. Yeah. We saw that in um, in their first game here um, in the competition. Yeah. Um, made a, um, a strong first set and then uh, were leading in the second, really relaxed. And um, uh, you know the score coming quite close. So really, uh, definitely something they need to uh, need to learn. Fifteen. Good cross court net shot there from um, Sam McGee, just uh, finding the space. A little bit, uh, a little bit behind the score there, but uh, <coughs> back now. And 17-7, uh, a good little run from Sam here. This is um, the sort of thing we saw in uh, some of the previous games. Yeah, I think that's the key really to to the difference in level between the players. You can control the, the first three shots, you can control the net. All Johnny has to do is really support him with a bit of power on the attack. And um, the Irish player look much, much more competent than the, than the other players in the tournament. Yeah, and they're um, hitting quite a lot of pace and a fast, um, fast movement. And um, really the Swiss player not dealing with it. Chance. And I think that's what Johnny can't do, is just to cut out those little mistakes. It was the same in the singles. Um, again, it's just that it's kind of concentration more than the speed. It's just you can't really afford to make any mistakes at the highest level. And um, three, four, five mistakes a game are unacceptable. So the challenge with Johnny is keeping his concentration. Yeah. <coughs> and would you say um, his uh, physical, um, physical fitness as well would um, make an in influence on Pro that? Probably in the singles, but again in, in the doubles, I don't think it's not the most taxing game. So I wouldn't even say he's even getting into being physically tired. So at, at, the, at the next level up, I think it's, it's going to be really important to improve. But at the moment, I think it's even more basic than that. It's just uh, concentration, yeah, fewer concentration. So a lot of these rallies <coughs> very short, not very yeah. physical, and should be able to deal with that yeah. quite easily. Yeah, exactly. If it was a 30, 40 shot rally every every point for 20 minutes then maybe but yeah. I think it's more a case of not getting bored yeah really um, if you can close these games out uh, nice and quickly and stay focused yeah. then uh, the better way to do it and the next step then is the, is the fitness and, the, and keeping it if you, if you can't really keep your concentration at this level when you're not tired it's going to be even more difficult when you get tired And again, they might they might get away with it in this tournament for any high level tournament, so Irish Open, for example. They'll they'll struggle to, to beat any of the players there without much better 
concentration and mm. being tighter on every point. And obviously the, the target for this um, new pair is to, um, to really climb the rankings. And, um, yeah, so I think the, the goal for, for Sam and Johnny is the top 50 ranking within the next 12 months. So this, is, this is the first tournament, so it's a positive start, but um, kind of a long way to go. Into that. Yeah, Billy Dyson uh, really need to be um, perhaps uh, looking to win games like this. Um, yeah. Pretty sharpish and yeah. uh, with, yes, with good to, quality. Yeah, exactly. To, to get off, you need to be closing games like this out to 10 and 10, 12 and 12. Um, so again, they got a little bit of way to go. They got a little bit of time to, to get concentration levels up, but <coughs> they can't. Uh, they, they need to step the gear up against the other opponents. I'm good now that um, Jonathan Dolan is um, training now at the um, Badminton Island High Performance Centre here in Dublin. Yeah, I think that will make a huge difference in terms of just that concentration on a daily basis, training with Sam, more hours, more volume of training. Yeah. So that will hopefully make a big difference in the next 12 months. Again, not the biggest smash in the world. Yeah, just a little bit off balance there, wasn't he, in his, um, with his feet. And, yeah, um, on half the court. Yeah, really, yeah. Struggling there with his uh, movement. Push there. See, Sam, Sam, Sam looks so much better. Really, you can really see the doubles player in him from the mid court, the front court, like uh, a lot, lot sharper, a much better precision in his shots and following up. Uh, yeah, yeah, it certainly looks more comfortable at the yeah. front of the court than uh, Jonathan at this stage. Yeah, and um, hopefully, um, Jonathan can develop this um, four court play a lot more. Shot there. Not really a best selection. Sam knows that was a bad decision there, and um, really should be thinking to uh, close out that game. And uh, a little bit too relaxed on that one. Yeah. Again, fine if you're, uh, if you're 20 0 up and everything's going really well, but you don't really want to do that with only three points in the game. Yeah, lots of mistakes in that third, third shot. Yeah, and uh, not real, no, no real pressure. You know, it's an average drive. Yeah, and it looks like the um, Irish players really just uh, relaxed here, mm. and where they had a chance to close the, yeah. the game off, and then they could have been uh, resting and um, getting ready for their uh, yeah. next match. <coughs> and, another one. and now they're um, under a lot more pressure here. Yeah. Uh, Nineteen twenty, and. Uh, Really, uh, could have been over. Mm. Yeah, very strange. You can kind of see the good and bad all in one. Like seven, eight points in a row early on, playing really good doubles, and then seven, eight points lost just by unforced errors. And uh, there we have it. Uh, the final score there: 20, 21 19 to the um, Irish pair. <coughs> and uh, they'll be pleased to. Um, make their way into the final of this um, first event for this new pairing and um, that's uh, the final game of the um, streaming here on um, badmintonisland.tv from the Carlton Irish Future Series and uh, thanks for your time Richard no problem and, um, back to you see you tomorrow for the finals <laughs>